Hey guys, Craig Frost here for another Juicy Touch tutorial and welcome to this one. We're going to look at how to export your videos for YouTube. Why am I talking like that? So we've already looked at how to export in Premiere before, but now we're going to look at good settings to use for exporting to YouTube from Premiere. So again, I have um, a little video here on the timeline. This is the same one that was in a previous video. Uh, so it's just a promo video for a band and it's my awesome YouTube video It's it's an awesome YouTube video. So we now need this to be exported for YouTube, which What you're looking for is you want a video Which has got the highest quality possible but the smallest file size to help with your upload time and the processing on YouTube so I have a setting that I use uh, pretty much for everything but uh, Premiere has some presets as well, so let's go and look at that. So we come up to File, Export Media, making sure our sequence is selected. Now make sure you come to Output, because I want to see if it's got the aspect ratio right and everything. So before in the last video, uh, we looked at QuickTime Export and stuff like that. Now, I always use H.264 to export for YouTube. It seems, it seems to work good for me now. In here, it already has loads of presets you can use. You can export for your iPhone, iPad, anything, Android. Now at the bottom here, you'll notice it's got some YouTube settings. So these are pretty good to use. And you could already just choose YouTube HD 1080p. Select that and export. I really need to burp. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry about that. So where was I? Yeah, you can choose a um, preset. There's nothing wrong with that. And it will export and it will be fine. I like to have a little bit more control over my export settings be just because I use this for not just for YouTube. If I'm just showing stuff to people and I don't want to take up my whole hard drive with gigabytes of video, this is a good way to compress it. As you can see, this setting is compress it to 84 megabytes. What I do is I choose H.264 and this will switch to custom pretty soon because I come down to multiplexer mp4 make sure this is on standard it flicks to iPod by default I think then on video I scroll down and I make sure this level is on 5.1 just the highest make sure that the video is in 1920 by 1080 which is what I want I want it to play at the same frame rate which it was recorded in, which is 23.976. Um, As you can see here from the source. Uh, square pixels we want. If not, it will stretch your video a bit. So square pixels, and I want it on PAL. Oh, it's, yeah, so just have to change that again. Should have done that first. And then I scroll down here to the target bit rate. Now, I found if you have the target bit rate at 5 megabytes per second, that's a pretty good upload for, if you set them both to 5, that's a pretty good upload for YouTube, and that's what I would use for most things. If then you want something which is slightly better quality, uh, you can whack it, it was on 8, you can whack it up to 10. If I was showing a, if I wanted to upload a film I've been working on, for example, to YouTube, and people have been waiting for it and waiting for it, and it wasn't a little video, I would put it on 10 and that would still compress it pretty well. It's 104 megabytes, but you've got slightly better quality and no one, I don't think over 10, anyone will notice any difference in quality if you had exported it at anything higher. And then you come to audio and I always check. So for YouTube, basic, let's come back here. Five megabytes per second I wanted. That's my basic and then in audio, make sure it's 48 hertz per second. Basically, I have the audio on the highest. And then, so 320. So let's review what I've done here. H.264, multiplexer to MP4 standard. Video at 5 megabytes per second at the frame size that I want. You can change that. The frame rate I want. Square pixels, level 5.1. And then audio is at... Uh, 48,000 hertz and 320 bit rate audio quality high and then I just click export and you can see this 
this file size is tiny, 53 megabytes. It's better than the preset, which was 80 something, and you won't notice the difference. Um, so yeah, then you just click export and upload to YouTube, and it's it's a format which works well for, like I said, not just uploading. You can use it, I don't know, if you're doing a presentation and you need a small video file, or I don't know what you'd use it for. I use it for basically everything. That's my normal export setting, unless I need a super high quality uncompressed export. So I hope you found this useful. That's the way I would go for uploading to YouTube. But if not, you've got the presets which are here and you can pick the best one for you. I uh, hope you like this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like it. Follow on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again. Bye.